How's it going, everyone? We're going to take a look at another figure in front of us, a brand new figure, not an articulated one, but I think you can kind of see that already. So in front of us is the Pokemon Center original and exclusive N and Zora. So this character debuted in Pokemon Black and White and appeared again in Pokemon Black and White 2. I really love the design of this particular Pokemon character, so this is why I decided to pick this figure up. This is a Pokemon Center exclusive. I've imported this particular copy from Japan. It arrived to me a little bit sooner than I thought it was. I was expecting it to be another two weeks weeks or so to get to me but i'm happy that it's already here we'll go through the packaging and then i'm going to take it out of the box and get a closer look at the figure so first up with the packaging i love the way it looks it's very simple very kind of clean looking and that really appeals to me if you are a sealed in box collector which i used to be as well then this is going to be fine to leave as is and on display on a shelf unit or whatever it is it will look perfectly fine because you've got the window display here that allows you to still see through to end the character himself and then the Pokemon Zoroa as well. If you want to keep it sealed, I'm not going to keep it sealed and I probably don't recommend doing that anymore. But if you want to, there, there is that option. Otherwise, you've got a picture of the statue of the figure here anyway, N and Zora down below, Pokemon Center logo, and then just the age rating up top. On this side is a really cool, lovely illustration of N and Zoroa as well, sitting on this tree stump. So pretty much what the figure is going to look like by an illustration form. What I love about this is that it covers the whole side panel and that's super awesome. Hope I didn't scratch anything there. But I love that it covers the whole side panel. No logos, nothing. It's just focusing entirely on this illustration and that's amazing. Even though this is a Kotobukiya and po Pokemon Center exclusive, this doesn't come with an art card that the other Pokemon figure series figures do include. For example, Red that I covered and Gloria as well. So that's a bit of a shame. It's not a deal breaker by any means, but... I thought maybe it might do, but it doesn't. On the back side, then we've got just pictures of the actual figure in full mode and then zooming in into his trainer N and Zoro's face as well. Some Japanese text down at the bottom. On the other side, we've got black and white illustration of that same illustration, actually a bit of the window display. This same illustration is also on the top here. You can see I still haven't unsealed that tape. And then on the bo bottom is pretty clean, just the same pattern, but now in green. So you can leave it sealed if you want to, but we're gonna take it out of the box. When you do get round to opening it, you will be greeted with this little quote. Do you have a dream of your own? Let's carry on opening it. So here we have N or Natural Harmonia Gropius sitting on a tree stump with his Zoroa as well. So it's just a static figure. So we're really going to talk about the way it looks, paint, and just general kind of quality and if I like it or not really. Now this is again made by Kotobukiya and they are the same group that I've been making the Pokemon figure series of the trainer characters. For example, Red with Charmander, Red with Pikachu, Gloria and Sobo that I just covered. So this in terms of quality is on par with those ones. Let's try and get a closer look at N and a closer look at Zoroa as well. So we'll start from top to bottom with N. So you can see his cap in grey. All the paint is really nicely done by the way throughout. Hopefully you can kind of see his face. The bill of his cap can kind of darken that a little bit. So I'm just going to angle him so you can see his expression clearly. Got a kind of cool looking smile or smirk going on there. Show in different angles, get a better look at that. You can see his nice blue eyes there as well with the thin, very thin eyebrows he's got going on there. But otherwise very clean facial features there. Very nice jawline that and chin that he's got going on hope you can all make this out but if you can't just uh, accept my word on it very cool and then you can kind of see the bangs and his hair kind of coming down as well from the cap all of that is sculpted very nicely all throughout so you can go through the side and then down the back towards his mullet as well i didn't realize there's a mullet all this time i thought he had it in a ponytail but it's a, it's a mullet uh but yeah all really nicely sculpted and the paint the matcha green tea color on it is very nicely done all throughout as well so very very good so far then we come down to his torso where he's wearing the sweatshirt or the polo neck shirt in black you can see various kind of folds going on throughout the, his shirt as well so you can see the creases and stuff going on there. it's like an eggshell white i would say really nice and of course he's got his pendant on which is there and I, you can touch it there it does flex a bit at the uh this bit of the chain words escape me at the moment but it does flex a little bit there and then you've got his cube or square bangles as well you can go around and see those and then just kind of see both sides of things as well and then further down as we get towards his legs you've got the cubic chain thing as well that he hangs from his waist or hip as well which is very cool get a closer look there in gold with the center being all black on all sides there as well so that's cool cool attention to detail then we come to his pants so his pants do actually have some shading on them different colors of browns going on so they're kind of light down here on the main areas and crotch areas a little bit darker 
and then that's all going throughout looks really really cool and then we come down to his sneakers sneakers are actually really simple but they are nice looking <laughs> I, I personally think they're nice i personally wouldn't wear them either but they're good i think they, they go well with the overall design of this particular character so as i look at the sneakers they're just gray at the bottom no detail on the soles for either one of those and then yeah let's just have a quick look at the right hand of and as all with his uh, bracelet there or uh what's it called sweat strap let's call it that there's a really nicely sculpted around the tree stump as well that's really cool as well so overall n is looking very good very nice clean position or posture he's in very natural looking very cool looking all good with n as far as i'm concerned then we get on to zoroa so just like the pokemon figure series figures from kotobukiya the main focus on them tends to be the trainer characters so zoroa here is just the first stage of that line of pokemon and it's really small like just like you know red for example with charmin and pikachu or again glory and sobble the pokemon that they come with tend to be of a lesser focus in my opinion that's that's how i see it so here is the same thing you've just got a small zora just sitting on the tree stump this side and there and it kind of looks chill as well just keeping one eye open there you can see but otherwise the sculpt of n is very nicely done very simple color blocking where it needs to be with the black inner ears the red on the tip of the hair as well and, and the eyelids and so on and so forth so yeah really nicely done with n but otherwise there's not really a whole lot to talk about though i did just spot that he does have some color gradient going on around with the fur around his collar you can see the blue is not just one solid color there is some colored variation going on there so that's nice actually to see that's carried out as well but otherwise really there's not a lot to talk about when it comes to zora the main focus for me personally is going to be on n itself and then we kind of finish it off with the tree stump that they're both sat on it's not the most focal piece of this but it is there so it's going to be talked about so in my opinion it's a little bit plain on the paints but maybe that's intentional it's not bad by any means but a little bit plain you can see the whole details as well so from the kind of sculpting details and all of that is there plus with the grass details there on various sides here you can see different shades going on with the grass as well and then coming around the tree stump you've got the kind of carvings let's say where zoro is sitting as well different levels of carving which is actually quite cool to see as well so it's not an awful tree stump by any means and it's not like perfect or amazing either it does work it gets the job done and once it's on display you're probably not going to care that much to be honest just want to point out there is a little bit of flex on these leaves here so be careful when you display it and be careful if you've got kids around you don't want to have them like just running into it or throwing balls into it or anything like that so there's a little bit of flex on the leaves and then just a bit on this trunk here tiny tiny bit so i just wanted to point that out but otherwise perfectly fine looking tree stump not neither perfect neither bad or awful it, it is what it is in my opinion so really this figure has turned out beautifully i think it's still great looking just like the other pokemon figure series by kotobukiya i really like the work that they've done with this line of figures so far it is a pokemon center exclusive so it might be a little bit trickier to get a hold of if you can get a hold of it i would totally recommend it especially if you are a fan of n or pokemon black and white if you were raised on those two games that's that generation you've got a lot to appreciate here personally you know I'm, i'd call myself a casual n fan but i really like what kotobuki have accomplished with this figure i think it looks great and like i said if you're gonna capture or <laughs> collect all the pokemon figure series by kotobuki this will fit right at home in your display with that collection no problem whatsoever just the fact that it's pokemon center original or exclusive might make it a little bit tricky to get a hold of but otherwise absolutely recommend this figure it looks great and i can't wait to see more from kotobuki with the pokemon line in the future i hope but i want to thank you for joining me and checking out this figure of n from kotobukiya and i want to leave you there now and i hope i see you in the next one